<laughs> okay, now, how to start that beautiful portrait from uh, what I would, uh, before you do anything, it's just basically getting it. I would do the, 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 mod, the, the, the way that I start, well, the way that I would start this time is, uh, we've done it quite a few times actually, it's to get, there's an angle to the to portrait, which is like that, it's kind of like this, uh, the, uh, the axis of the head, forehead, chin, neck, so a bit of dust, Feel, uh, take the dust with your fingers and then and then you have the eyebrows there. Yeah. Uh, nose here. You got the mouth. And Ian. Uh, sorry if I'm your in front of you. And then the chin here. Now I've noticed that the middle of the face is somewhere here. It's there. Chin to the eye. That part of the eye. This part of the eye. This one here. So chin to the eye. And then right up there, eye to the uh, top of the head. So uh, the middle will be somewhere here, chin, chin, eye, and the top of the head. Now these two parts needs to be absolutely the same, pretty much the same, okay. And then middle of this from the eye to the chin, it's at the top of the lip. Then you see top, uh, chin to the top of the lip, top of the lip to the eye, that's it. So another half between, eye and the chin, then you have it, top of the lip here, and the eye, and then uh, that's the head, that's the top of the head, chin, and the chin moves up that way, there you, the jaw I'm talking, sorry, not the chin, the jaw, then you have the neck, neck here, eye, and then the top of, uh, side of the face, which is this side here, and then you have the nose, nose, the eyes, I said the eyebrow here, um, nose, top of the lip, middle of the lip, chin, uh, hairline, or the hair itself. Then all this area is dark. So to clean up, or to, to not to clean up, but to have to, to have it quite quite clear where, where we are with that. Ian, can you see? Yeah, I'll get in front of David like that. But yes. We can move. We can move yeah. oh, okay. Well, then you have side of the uh, so one side of the face is in the dark. It's a clear distinction, dark and light. And you have the forehead here. Uh, hair. Um, ear, jaw, neck. That's what I would have uh, focused first. Dark and light, and then you have uh, the background, side of the face, neck, hair again, and the background here. And concentrate again because I've lost the eye, but I know it's, you have the eyebrow here, which means it's sharp, sharp edge like that. Then you have the eye, uh, the eye, uh, nose, and then I said top of the lip is there, because I remember I had that line, or the middle, do you remember, the middle between the eye, between the uh, tear duct and the chin, you have the top of the lip here, that's the middle of the whole lower part, and then you have jaw, sorry, chin, chin here, upper lip, upper lip, lower lip here um, and the eye that, that part of the eye which is her right eye it's lower her right eye it's lower than the left eye there you are look. Mm. Hmm? horizontal line you got it lower so it's somewhere here and then pupil eyebrow and some middle some middle tone middle tone is lighter tone of them talk about this one here see middle tone and squint your eyes you will see there is a there is, it's like a form of heart look you see the whole thing without distinguishing the lines here i'm talking about the whole thing here look it's like a little heart 
So this is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for patterns which will connect and will make later on you can see well you can create a pattern and then from after that you can create the form be a little bit more precise as you're moving along and she's a bit wider here wider there wider also here and uh, middle tone or the hairline is a little bit lower and then you have middle tone here so take some dust middle tone to the forehead there you have it. and the nose it's as she's moving that way the nose see that line it's not a straight line with those lines it's not parallel with the lines of my tablet the lines of the tablets are mechanical lines they're they're absolutely spot on correct now this this line here compared to that it's slightly bending that way you notice mm -hmm. that line there so to me that's quite straight so i need to push that line back a little bit so i'm talking about this the center line the bone structure then you have the nostril and then uh, the lip which moves on the right hand side which is basically this one and that is where that is right down from the tear duct to the tip of the lip tear duct so tear duct to the tip of the lip there and then you have the upper lip darker lower lip much lighter and the chin hmm? so it starts taking shape a little bit more now what i need to uh, be aware and look after and bring back is this light that i lost here there's a slight reflected light here yeah now this is very important because what that does it creates 3d effect without that light if that was very very dark like this shadow so say that the shadow continued on that side it's a bit like a it's flat you will not see that on portrait in, in painting as well there is always always even if it's not just you can you have to do it this this highlight this uh, reflected light it's 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 very very important when when you do drawing and painting so it's this light here there that you need to bring it back and the jaw which is chin jaw chin jaw and then ear ear and then this one here dark 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 and that's the ear as well huh? now probably the chin I, i've gone with the jaw maybe a little bit too far but i'll leave it there for the time being and then you have the neck the neck is it's not exactly straight it's a line which moves that way moves slightly again that's not parallel to the um tab tablet line so it's sli slightly this way it's not exactly uh, sorry not parallel ver vertical so it moves that way yeah. and i've gone dark deliberately now because i need again emphasize this dark and then you have emphasize this dark area then you the uh, uh, the shadow the shadow of the of the, of the head onto her neck and you see there's no line so li the line of the jaw it disappears here there's nothing there so you don't have to do it or you don't have to to draw a line you can just it's this it's very very dark there well you have that dark shadow which obviously that is in color anyway but um in our case it's just dark and light it's just middle tones that we have there and the same shadow of the nose I'm talking about that shadow that the jaw creates on the neck that's the same shadow which is created by the nose is there you have the nose top and then you have the dark shadow here and then you have again dark and uh, eyebrow here and you have that shadow and also create or blend them blend them together like that okay. that so that's the light i was talking earlier on bring it there you have to keep it there it, it's very important to keep it there again creates that 3d effect and a straight line which is from the from the lip down there lip down here and you have that neck here there you have it and the jaw sorry the chin bring the chin here a bit more rounded she's more rounded here and then hairline which is a middle tone here light i'm talking about this tone 
but still darker than the forehead. Mm. Huh? So the middle, middle tone, darker in the forehead, highlight on the hair here. Huh? When well, I'm talking about this this area here, look. See, it's kind of, it's, it's beige, it's uh, be, beige, it's half tone. I'm talking in color now, but yeah, it's black and white, obviously. And then you have the hair, which is darker than the background. The background here goes middle tone. I'm talking about the background right at the top, around mm. the hair. You see, it's not the same. Here it becomes one. Or at this point, look, you see the, the, the line disappears right up there. So it's, the line disappears here. You have the, full, uh, the background here and here, here, which gives a kind of a uh, the, the hair, which you can have a few hairline moving about there. And jaw here, the ear is at the same angle. Here is at the same angle as the uh, tear duct. So tear duct here, lower here, the ear is at the same, just above the lip, or between the lip and the nose, there, a horizontal line between lip and the nose, so probably about there, higher. Jaw and um, neck and middle tone here. Huh? And now it's, I think, time, time is now to bring up the some heat. Highlights like, like for example, the, the white of the eye, which is it's right there. If you drop a vertical line, it's it's uh, further away than the lips, so it's somewhere here. Huh? The uh, br uh, white of the eye here one, uh, two. You have the highlight of the upper eyelid. See the highlight of the upper eyelid here. There. Um, lighter tonal value, you see there is not a line between the eyebrow and the nose. It's a very, very soft ch change, turn off of a middle tone. Look, eyebrow to the nose, yes? Eyebrow to the nose, here, here, here. There. The nose, a sharp edge here. Then you have the philtrum. Philtrum, and then bring back that v shape of the filter like like a heart mm. and that is right here um the mouth itself is a middle tone or half tone here and uh, lower lip look the lower lip when you when you start drawing do not brighten up the whole lower lip because can you see because you have that reflected line can you all see yeah yes and uh, so you see under the lip you have that little shadow because most of us, when we start doing the lips, we just brighten them up. But don't forget there is that middle tone here, the, between the up, upper lip and the lower lip. You see, I'm talking about that middle tone. That's extremely important as well. Because there's not a sharp, or there's not a very, very bright light just under the, the lower lip. I'm talking about that light. It's right in the middle of the lips, lower lip at least. But you still have that middle tone. It needs to have a soft trans transition between the upper lip and the lower lip. And that is also, not only the soft, but it's also a cast shadow of the upper lip on the top, on the bottom lip. And like if you wear a hat, if I'm wearing a hat now, the hat's got the... Um, peak. Peak, obviously. <laughs> Your <face>. Peak. peak. <laughs> I was going to say big, but it's peak. <laughs> I don't have a peak. So the, 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 that peak will create a shadow on the, on the head. So that's basically, it, it's, it's the same here. And not to forget on the bottom uh, nose, you see that V shape of the nostril, mm. which is there, yeah, exactly. So it's this one, look, look, there. And light on the nostril around there. Obviously uh, some highlight of the eye, bring the eye back here, the, because we lost it somehow. Then you have the shine of the eye, which is, I'm talking about that shine here. See that little highlight in between the eye and this one here, that mm. exactly. And some reflected light here on the eye, on the pupil itself, which is there. And then I can come back and do the iris, look, the iris there. Hmm? And the same could happen on that side of the eye. Maybe I, can, don't have I don't have space to do the iris, but I can lighten the eye a little bit more. And then, yeah, you can just just about give a little indication for the iris. Doesn't have to be any stronger than that. 
Um, and now how to deal with shadows like this? Look, you see that the high, the, part, the, the highest, the, the brightest light is on this side. Mm. Here it's the half tone which I'm still dealing with. I should deal with the half tone which is there basically. So move it like that. Middle tone, middle tone, middle tone. And bring the e uh, hair a little bit lower. Okay. And there you go. And again, um, dip your finger to the darks of, of your charcoal dust and then move that middle tone. Charcoal dust again, charcoal dust, and then move it closer to the middle of the head. There. And lose those dots here. And here, here, here. There we are. I think it's the time now to give it a little spray. Well, highlight here. So I'm highlighting that for the time being. I'll spray it and then I can I can create a little bit middle tones, uh, darker, darker tones on the top of that. And you know the process. I would I would stop at this step. How do you see it? Yeah? Set and shape. Oh, yeah. Hmm? Yes. Chin will look a bit. If it the comes chin here. where I am. Oh, it needs to go more that way. Yeah. Correct. Yes, good. Good point because I'm seeing it from an angle. An so angle, the chin. Exactly. Yeah. That's so, sorry. You know? And yeah. also the width of her face. The the, the highlight you've put down the her left hand cheek. There, this one. It's a yeah. It, oh, it makes her very it wide. Makes her a bit it? wide. Yes. Correct. Good point. See, I need to see it from that way. Yeah. Yes. You're, you're doing it at an angle. Yes. Yeah. Right? So first of all, drop that a little bit more to make it a bit longer, elongated face. Maybe that creates a very long chin, so I bring it up a bit more, maybe there. But uh, that highlight, I think it's a bit too bright. Yes, it's correct. It's a bit too bright, so I can. But but I can bring it. I can make it. I can uh, darken it like that, and then if I don't have, because you see the darks are not holding up now, and I think it's the time to give it a little bit of spray, and bring the hair maybe more to the left to create a, a, a narrower narrower face basically and middle tone here or darker tone here and middle of the nose da darker sharper edges with dark see and then move that a little bit more to the right and yeah probably soft soft but not with not with those sharp edges or sharp lines there. Then you go to the nostril and that part of the other side of the nostril, a bit wider. Mm. And what else? And probably, because she looks a little bit white to me, bring that. And bring the side of the face more there. There. And the forehead cheekbone, uh, background, darken the background a little bit more, and the hair, which is middle tone, you see, middle tone, light hair here, all the way up to her cheekbone, but right here in the middle of the eye is quite darker, mm. there, okay. and eyebrow, again, I think the best thing to do now, is to darken her or spray and then give her another layer of darks. I think it's pretty much okay. Maybe a little bit longer elongated the chin again. But that's something that we can... Uh, or bring the lips lower. That's it. I think the lips are lower. The middle of the lips is lower there. So you see? That's why they say drawing. And the likeness will go right to the last brush strokes or charcoal drawing strokes they call, let's call it this way so you see there that's it it's the lip just getting the lip lower a bit th uh, mm -hmm. wider um, well more distance between the filtrum uh, and then the upper lip and getting that side of the lip look, very very thin here the side of the lip it almost becomes a dot here not like that look there, there, there. and here and again, don't forget, leave some highlight, leave some shadow on uh, between the upper lip and the lower lip, as I said earlier on. Yes. And then you have the same look. 
the same keep an eye on that that shadow from the nose the cast shadow from the nose on the philtrum is that line there then you have the same cast shadow of the upper lip on the lower lip and the same cast shadow of the lower lip onto the chin look there are three lines one two on the lip three and that's it one one line i'm talking about this cast shadow here mm. nose to the upper lip upper lip to the lower lip two and then three three lines hmm? and you have that another line there look of the nose cast shadow right to the white of the eye you see that the white of the eye is not white until the tear duct mm. you don't even see the tear duct there it's because of that shadow there so that's why so one so you need to be consistent with those highlights one white of, <laughs> white of the eye then two upper no uh, the nose to the lower lip to the upper lip and the upper lip to the lower lip and also chin light and then the cast shadow there so again be consistent with those highlights there you see what i mean mm -hmm. yeah. and softer here and also come and do slightly darker the upper uh, the for uh, the forehead and the eye and here the forehead and the line of um, hairline and i think probably a bit higher than that you see just in adjusting it now is it low here is it up there it feels if you lower it you see that it creates a very very narrow uh, forehead so what you do you bring it back or you go back to it and you brighten it up and also don't forget look hair hair look how, you, how can you bring the hair mm. obviously you need to work with a putty rubber uh, get get that those dark uh, those um, gray areas of the party and then create that beautiful white hair here it's not white it's gray but you know lighter forehead cheek jaw chin and the neck obviously is a lot lighter than what i've done here well there we are hmm? now as i said i will um I will spray it and then continue with that. But obviously, I can continue it later on, not to keep you any longer. But basically, that's the, the structure. Yes, okay. it's not exactly the same, but it's it's good. It's uh, well, there are things that I can improve, obviously. Mm -hmm. Like for instance, bring mm -hmm. the hair up here, mm -hmm. darker. Bring the hair there. Give her a little bit this beautiful hair, which goes. I'm talking about now. I'm using another charcoal, by the way. That that is uh, compressed charcoal. This one. The one that I'm using now. So on the top of the wheel of charcoal, I'm using compressed charcoal because look how much darker it is. It, it's is that very, the essential difference? Uh, it's well, just darker. Yeah, it's just darker. Yes, okay. basically. Uh, the only trouble with that now that I have set the drawing, they can just darken it. But if you start with that compressed charcoal, it's very hard to spread the darks because it doesn't mm -hmm. spread. But spraying it with, uh, I mean, uh, starting with uh, wheel of charcoal, then I can go. On the top with that which is again compressed charcoal and you all have it it comes from you know lots of uh wh smith they will give you that basically uh, willow charcoal and compressed charcoal will serve you the same bag and hairline here look with the compressed charcoal you see a lot darker but again i'll uh, i'll leave it for the time being i would spray it first before i go with the compressed charcoal but i'll i'll continue that later on okay do you want to carry on? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. Hello again. Now, let's continue with that. Basically, soften the uh, middle, uh, middle, uh, middle tones with a brush, like that. F top of the forehead, this way. Uh, that's a, li a little bit too strong lighter lighter here the eye itself light on the cheekbone uh top of the upper lip muscle of the upper lip some lighter tones here i've gone a little bit too dark then but it's okay we can always come back and fix it uh, i think i've gone too too low too low with the um nostril here bit of shadow although i don't see shadow here at all but i think that will help create that 3d effect also the hair coming around there light on the hair 
we're back at middle tone here on the front there is not middle tone there well there's a little bit but in the middle of the forehead then you have uh, more well a little bit narrow forehead here uh, charcoal charcoal dust I dipped it again on the charcoal dust uh, shadow under uh, under the eyebrow uh, straight line here for the nose nostril uh, round it round it on, I'm talking about that rounded bit here on the nose see that's it's almost like a circular uh, like a spherical um, rounded bit and uh, you have a darker tonal value on the nose obviously the brush puts and takes put, uh, just adds charcoal and takes it as well softer here uh, a little bit more jaw neck and uh, there you go. neck here all uh, right I think now I'll need to put some more or add or take whatever you want to take I can take a little bit of uh, whatever we would we I think take some dusk so it's a bit too dark then you have nostril further up <laughs> further up nostril here then you have the rounded bit of roundness of the nostril and tip tip of the upper lip so we've got the um, uh, the lower lip a bit wider round it the chin here where the neck starts middle tone of the neck <sighs> that highlights on the upper eyelid done her with clear eyes is in kind of bluish or light brown she might not have it doesn't matter Um, the um, white of the eye, white of the eye on this part of the eye here, on the right eye, lighter upper eyelid, lighter um, the bone structure of the eye cavity between the uh, between the bone, uh, the uh, sorry the eye uh, the upper eyelid and the cheekbone I'm talking about this one here then you have the hair hair light or lighter hair again forehead uh, then I forehead again up here here Then you have the ear. I've used earlier on, I used um, compressed charcoal. And now I'm spreading with my putty rubber because I think I needed to make it, I need to soften it. It's just a bit, it was a bit too, too much, just too dark. And uh, lighter again on the cheek, on the bone structure, wider here. And spray it now. <laughs> Before I spray, just check wherever you want to get any lighter, because obviously with the spray, that's not the pos not a possibility, or you have very very limited possibility to lighten it, unless you use a very very dark, uh, very sharp and strong putty ru uh, a rubber, not putty rubber, but a rubber. <laughs> okay, now a little bit of a sp spray. Uh, And then another dark layer, and then we're done. All right. Let it dry for a while. Okay, and then with some uh, willow charcoal. Um, willow charcoal, or even pastel, will do. I think willow charcoal will be best. All right, so willow charcoal which is darker here but we don't want to go way too dark 
but I still have the shami here, which I'm going to use in a while, so I can darken it, make it make, well, keep going with my experiment and see how that will turn out to be. Maybe a bit too dark, maybe a bit not as dark as I was expecting it, so yes. So that's after the spray. Yes, so here we are, darker, uh, wider uh, or thicker eyebrow. Thick eyebrow. There we are. And the eye itself. And then you have the tear duct, which I don't actually see, but it's there, we know it's there. And you have the upper upper eye, eyelid. And if you notice, the upper eyelid's got a reflected light underneath, and then a very, very dark line, which separates both lips. And you have a very dark line at the top. And instead of coming and doing that end of the upper, of upper eyelid, you just do the the end of the lower eye, lower lid, and that will be enough to see where we are. There's no need to go and emphasize the end of the upper eyelid, the edge, like, like it is here. That's obviously, but it's not obvious there. It's just the lower eyelid, uh, sorry, lower lip, which is emphasized there. And you've got a very dark shadow on the lower chin and you have jaw hair the ear lid seems to be a little bit further out very dark for the hair a little bit closer to the eyebrow the hair closer as well the hairline here a little bit darker and jaw as we said earlier on neck is uh, then you have the cast shadow of the, of the hair of the head to the neck there we are and a little bit darker tone of value here darker there we are and keep that light, keep the reflected light, as I said earlier at the beginning of the lesson today. Darker, darker tonal value here to and but then keep that reflected, reflected light here. Okay, and uh, we're left now with the upper eyelid on this side of the eye, uh, pupil, iris. See that wider again, wider, uh, uh, sorry, thicker eyebrow, and possibly a little bit just not as wide on the top of the head, so a bit, bit narrow, narrower than what I've done at the moment here. Here, yeah. So trim her a little bit more. All right, and uh, and possibly we're well, giving her a little bit more of a darker tonal value on the right hand side, which is dip the brush onto the willow charcoal. I think that will help and soften the edge here of the neck. We have a very sharp edge on the left hand side, soft on the right hand side, dip the brush again, and there we are. Dip the brush, and then softer edge, softer edge. I can make that also a little bit less dark because it's, it's gone too sorry less less bright the edge of the uh keep it light but less not as light as before now why well because it was just too bright 
I'm allowed to change my mind, like you're allowed to change your mind as well, just looking at it and see where it works, where it doesn't. <laughs> okay. Big brush, big chunk of dust. And um, before I spray it, before I use any, because I think I need to spray it again. So I have some darks to add even more, more dark state. And, but before I spray it, coming back with a pack rubber, brightening up the pack, pack rubber, getting the, um, making it grayer by, you know, by uh, chewing it like this, or just open it up like this, and that will, or kind of chewing it with your hands actually. And then uh, how about, create a nice effect by brightening up the neck, but the background, not the neck itself there. there. Ear, hair, and light hair. There. Lighter, light on the forehead, light of the hair here. And some Compressed charcoal, that's compressed charcoal. There you, see, you see, it doesn't spread as easily as the willow charcoal. Very, very sharp, very coarse, darker. I think that helps by darkening that as much as I've darkened it at the moment. Darken here as well. Some edgy hair there. Bring that darker um, sideburn here, darker what it is at the moment at least, and uh, pupil itself, darker the pupil, possibly darken it even more on the uh, bone structure of the nose. And round it a rounded bit from the top of the nose, a rounded bit of the nose here. There we are. There we are. That makes the nose pop up a little bit more. And um, possibly the eyes are a bit further up apart on me, but uh, it gives a certain look. It's not bad. <laughs> not necessarily. Uh, a, a, another um, uh, spray. I'll give it another spray. But before the spray, check what you need to to, to to add or take sharper edge here on the on the neck and get rid of this the edge of the nose here, the lip here and make the nose a little bit lighter a little bit lighter the nose a little bit lighter the whole structure here spray leave it for a minute or so Right, a little bit uh, wet and tilt, and then I'm using uh, pastel, white pastel, on the drawing, just to highlight the, the eyes, right here, the edge of the eye, and then a little bit lighter up there, to highlight the upper eyelid there, softer the end of the upper eyelid there, edges, just lose the edge as I said earlier on. A little bit of a um, reflected light under the upper lip and a very edgy neck um, how about I can use a little bit of that pastel on to create that gray area here and then the highlight of the hair and some edgy lights here Under here, the jaw. Okay, now I can come back, come back and work on the um, with the compressed charcoal. With the compressed charcoal, I can bring back some darks here. Yeah, with the compressed charcoal, I think that will help. 
make the darks even darker. Uh, wider the upper eyelid. Uh, sorry, the upper eyebrow. Sorry. That's when you concentrate on what you're doing and not what you're saying. Uh, um, pupil, iris, darker tone under the eye. Um, nostril, darker tone on the upper lip. That reflected light is good, but not as bright as that. Darker under here, a little darker than that. Good. Darker here as well, which is the cast shadow of the nose onto her um, face. Cheekbone. There we are. And connect those lights because they're not separate. It's part of the face. And uh, jaw and Neji light here. There we are. Okay. Beautiful again. Wider eyelid. Again, sorry, eyebrow. And there. Now I will need a little bit lighter or grayer tonal value here because I think I've gone too dark now. So a uh, uh, gray pastel. Is um, from the works, uh, wherever you are, uh, if you're seeing it from a different country, it's just grey pastel basically. Just a little bit grey pastel, soft pastel by the way, and uh, softening the eyebrow. It's kind of a mixed media what I'm doing here basically. And possibly Getting that a little bit lighter because I went too dark. Too dark. So light pastel. Lighter here. So we'll bring back the highlight here. And the forehead. Work on forehead. Soften that a bit more. There. Hairline. And just light, a little bit lighter here. Lighter here. And lighter here as well. And ear, the ear. You just bring the ear a little bit further up. Lighter here. And light the jaw. Yeah. Oh. Just broke the pastel. <sighs> Anyhow, again, um, sharp compressed charcoal. A bit of hair here, ear. We got the ear. It went a bit too far out. Bring it back a little bit more. Just, just, it was too. There. Cannot be as far out as that. And um, yeah. Pretty much done here. All right. And. Softer, soften that area here, soften that as well. Soften the eyebrow, soften the eyelid. There. Although I don't see the end of the eye, but I'm just making it up here. Keep those darks dark, 
keep them as dark as possible or not as dark as possible the dark the right value the right tone of value there you have it darker tone of value here lighter lighter with your with my white pastel soft pastel again and some highlights under the lip here some bright highlights on, under the upper lip see there you go. Uh, less uh, 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 not a white pastel a gray pastel as you can see just under the lower lip and a little bit gray here as well Possibly lighter here as well. Just a bit lighter there. Why not? Brighten it up a little bit more. And a softer turn, softer edge between the hairline and hair. Okay, uh, back to the compressed charcoal. Compressed charcoal here. I apply lid. I think I'm now ready to use a little bit of brush here and soften all these edges that I've just done. Painting brush, there you are. And that's a watercolor brush, by the way. Aqua fine. And a little bit, uh, get that tear duct here, which are almost lost. And emphasis on the lower lip, although I lost it, I'm just bringing it up a little bit more. Oh, that's willow charcoal. No, sorry, that's not compressed. It's willow charcoal. They look the same. It just it feels different when you start drawing it. But yeah, it's more controlled. The willow charcoal is more controlled than the uh, the other one. The um, very compressed pastel, uh, compressed sorry, compressed charcoal. It's manufactured charcoal. This one is uh, actually wood, burned wood. Uh, as I said, kind of a mixed media here, but why not? There, and a little bit of a straighter, darker line here. There. <laughs> and then rounded, rounded nose, rounded nose here. Okay, I think that's good enough. All right, let's give her a neck and the blouse that she's wearing, whatever she's wearing, darker tone of value on the background. That helps as well. All right, so what's the date today? Today is the 28th, okay, 28th. Alright, see you on the next one.